In this video, we'd like to show you how to get your store ID and how to create your ShipStation store for NetSuite. First, log in to your ShipStation account. Then head over to Account Settings. It is this gear icon at the top right. Then on the left side, select Selling Channels, Store Setup. As you can see here, we have several stores set up already. This is a direct integration between Shopify and ShipStation that eventually will be replacing with the integration between, say, Shopify, NetSuite, and ShipStation. But essentially, it is the integration between NetSuite and ShipStation that we are reviewing right now. So let's go ahead and set up a store. Click on this Connect a Store or Marketplace button. In the pop-up, in the search bar, type ShipStation and select this option here. This option allows you to create a custom manual ShipStation store. We'd like to give it a unique name. In this case, we'd like to call it ShipStation to NetSuite. It is optional if you want to enter any first order number or prefix. Go ahead and click Connect to create your store. As you can see here, your store is active. What I like to do is to select time zone, which is in my case, it's Pacific. Save changes and your store is ready. Make sure that you note this number here, which is a unique store ID. That is exactly the store ID that we need to identify in our NetSuite to ShipStation integration. When you head over to account to your account in integrate.io, click on settings of your ShipStation to NetSuite connector. On the left side, click on orders, advanced settings. And when you scroll down all the way, you will see this option default store ID. This is where we, you would like to enter your unique store ID. Click save. Most importantly, back to your ShipStation account, make sure that you transfer all the settings that you have from your existing store. For example, shipping services. If you have a direct integration between Shopify and ShipStation and you use automation rules or any other service that you have here, if you prefer, I mean, it's mostly preferable if you select and actually add additional services. Click Save Changes and you will be all set. 